Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. My name is Tony. This is the 15 Minute Gamer and today we're here with a little roundup of the Gearbox E3 press conference. Don't forget to press that subscribe button and notification bell so you never miss a video. Hit that like button and comment below your thoughts. Right, without further ado, let's get on with it. So I think this might be the worst press conference I have ever seen at E3. They framed it in this like 80s style informational video about Gearbox University. And none of the humor fell anywhere near funny. It was awkward. It was too long. It was pointless. They kind of went to try and do the Devolver digital style of funny and it just didn't work. Also on top of that, which we're obviously going to cover in a second, there wasn't much to show, which I guess is why they had this terrible, terrible skit section as well. This was half an hour of my life. I will never get back. I don't know if I can even muster the energy to talk about this, but most of this conference was taken up with the Borderlands movie. It's a gaming conference, guys. Nobody really cares about the movie. Um, so basically, Randy Pitchford took us around the set. Well, when I say set, more the soundstage, like they didn't show anything in the set. They didn't show any of the characters in costume or makeup. They didn't show any clips from it, any pictures, anything. And I thought it was quite disappointing and why take up so much time of this. We did get to meet the director, Eli Roth, from what I can see, hasn't really got much to his pedigree. He did the film Hostel, I think it was called, which I've never even seen. And then there was some people whose uncles, dogs, friends, vets, horses, owners cats some sort of thing was in the marvel films again i don't know what pedigree that gives them but apparently they're behind the scenes then pitchford said shooting on the film was about halfway done the big end to the conference i know skipping the middle bit was they spoke to kevin hart not in costume just kevin hart i thought this was just stupid and i'm not going to talk about it anymore homeworld 3 is now in production they didn't really show us anything there was no trailer or gameplay or anything like that they also put this in three different sections of the show as well so it's kind of like came up three times for no reason that i could tell and there was nothing new on each one so yeah i mean homeworld's quite a cool rts so i'm excited to see that come back so the game everybody was here to see tiny tina's wonderlands and guess what they showed nothing new at all very disappointing i mean this would have been the one thing that if they had put something in here i think it would have blown up and they just didn't so basically they said it was inspired by the assault on dragon's keep which was a dlc but it uses a new set of characters and a new world the dragon in the trailer is a certain enemy that will play appear alongside goblins and there's going to be some also enemy types in there kind of looks like a I don't know, sort of skyrim -y, but with different kind of graphics. It looks kind of cool, to be fair, from what they showed us, but it needed to show way, way, way more. Tribes of Midgard was up next. It's kind of like a crafty, survival-y type game. And the game is set for release on July 27th on PS4, 5, and Steam. Players take on the role of a warrior, which is tasked with protecting the world tree from invading Hellspawn with up to nine other players. So up to 10 co-op, which is different. I've not seen that before. You'll need help. So you've got to build bases and fortifications and stuff. What I did like, though, is every couple of days or every few days, giants like Attack on Titan will come and attack the world tree. And you've got to be leveled up and defend your area from these giants, which to me sounds really cool. I like that aspect. However, do you need 10 people to play? Can you just play on your own? I don't know. So, yeah, this one looks interesting. It's probably the best thing that came from this conference. And then finally, a game which I've never really heard anyone speak about or ever seen a review or anything. Godfall is announced to be coming on PlayStation 4 on August 10th and will come with a free upgrade to the PS5. It will include the free Light Bearer upgrade and Light Bringer endgame mode, whatever that is. The matchmaking beta will also be available as will more than 40 new items and 50 new skins. There's also going to be a first paid expansion. I mean... I don't know if anyone cared. I don't think many people are playing it. And I've never really heard anyone playing it. So yeah, there was that. And that was it for the games, believe it or not. And there we go. That was the Gearbox press conference. It was terrible. Rubbish. Nothing really caught me attention. Yeah, that Vikingy type one. Maybe if it can be done one play because I don't really like playing with people. So yeah, comment below. Talk about it. If there's anything you're looking forward to, anything you were disappointed with. And I'll catch you on the next one. Goodbye.